Pyraking Studio. Hello, my friend. Welcome to Pyraking Studio. I'm Pyraking. This is my channel. What I'm sharing with you today is the repair of this TV. A while ago, I want to find some faulty things to repair. Then, let everyone refer to the entire repair process. In the part of a TV, I want to find a TV that cannot be turned on. Then, fix it for everyone. Then, I found this TV. Seller told me that it cannot be turned on. But after I took it home, I plugged in, and I found that it could boot. It will be troublesome if it can be turned on. Because after turning it on, I saw that its screen was not good. If the LCD TV panel fails, then this LCD has no repair value. So when choosing a TV, try to avoid a TV with defective panel. In today's video, I cannot share the perfect TV repair experience with you. But I can share with you some of my observations including the difference between the LCD TV panel engine and the polarizing film engine. What is the difference between them? Although there is no way to repair the TV, I also replaced the polarizing film. If you are interested in the topic we just talked about, then follow us to continue watching. See how I complete the replacement of the polarizing film. Let me give you some examples for your reference. This is the engine of the eternal polarizing film. This too. This is the phenomenon of the internal polarizing film start to peel off. This may be due to the engine of the screen itself, which Japanese call it MUNA. This should also be MUNA. This may be the MUNA or it may be the deterioration of the internal polarizing field. What about this one? Which one to choose? Ok, the last picture is the protagonist today. We are going to repair this TV. What's wrong with this TV? The center of the screen is darker. After inputting the signal, we found that the edge of the screen was discolored. We see the image retention in the center of the screen. Image retention is more obvious here. The problem with this screen is that the response is very slow. There is the image retention in the dynamic picture. Give it a last task. Let's practice changing the polarizing field. Open the TV case at first. This one is more special. Pull out the beds from here. Then you can open the case. Now remove the connecting wires between the circuit boards. In the center is the power board, and the left side of the screen is the motherboard. Under the plastic cover on the right is the high voltage board. Now this one is the project board. Take it apart carefully and bring it to the side. In this way, we take out the screen simply. We open the cover of the panel. The FPC is very fragile, so be careful when disassembling.
After the screws are loosened, we can remove the panel. After removing the backlight module below, we start to work. Now facing up is the external polarizing field. I turned it over and start from the inner polarizing field. Both the panel and the FPC are very fragile, so this procedure must be very careful. Both the inner and the outer polarizing field looks good and there is no deterioration. Regardless anyway, today is to practice. Use a bread to pick out the polarizing film at the corner, and then you can tear it by hand. There is no residual adhesive here. The construction is good. Then I use 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. Draw out the polarizing film that's just turned off. Then keep pushing forward. In this way, we can easily tear off the polarizing film and the panel will not be damaged. After removing the polarizing film, clean it with anhydrous alcohol. Take out the new polarizing film, take off the adhesive, start to align as the past. Make sure to pass correctly and not to crook it. If someone can assist you, a group of two will be definitely be easier. Slowly tear off the adhesive of the polarizing film with the right hand and roll the PVC tube with the left hand to press and pass. Another person's job is to lift the polarizing film slightly to maintain tension and prevent air from entering. If you accidentally get air in, you can tear it off and start over. Or use the other hand to remove the air. It seems difficult and simple. You will know after trying. But it will be definitely be easier. It doesn't matter if there is a little bubble, you can use a credit card to slowly scrap it off. Then our polarizing film looks like this, and almost no bubbles. We use the same way to deal with the external polarizing film. Just roll it out slowly like this. And hydro's elbow and stocking continue to rub. Tear off the adhesive of the polarizing film. Let's roll it again. It seems to be doing better than before. Unfortunately, the problem with this TV is not the polarizing film, otherwise it will be full filling. It looks good, let's reinstall it. Start to fix the drive circuit. Cover the fixing frame of the panel. Fix it which is screws. Reinstall the logic board. Then install the cover.
install the socket bolt. Connecting wires. Screw up. Install the TV cover. Then install the rear case of a TV. Insert the base and fix it. Okay, we are done. This move is very complicated. The panel is broken. What are you doing with the polarizing film? As a one hour exercise, I don't know when I will use this technique this time. Okay, let's test it. Okay, the picture comes out. It means there is nothing wrong with the polarizing film. The problem with the panel still exists. Image retention still exists. Thank you for completing the last task. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to share and like. See you next time.